David, spare me the theatrics. David, you know damn well I don't jump through hoops. Circus animals jump through hoops. Can we just take HR out to lunch and call it a day? Years, years I put into building this company. So I got a little loud. Everyone gets a little loud now and again. That's what people do. They're called emotions. Get me no coffee, this one tastes like it's been sitting since last week. And when I say no sugar, it means don't put sugar in it. Hello, Mr. Tavidian. Oh, please let me know if I'm saying that incorrectly. I'm your executive coach, Rebecca Ellis Fisher. But please, call me Becca. Everyone does. You're American. You're a woman. Paul Samuelson says we live in an era of globalization and the era of the woman. There aren't many people in Armenia who do what I do. Bringing me here should give you some idea of how much your company values you. I'm flattered. Well, you seem finished with your coffee. Let's go for a walk. If you wish your life were different, do your life differently. There's no time like the present. They're good quotes, you should look them up. This city is just gorgeous. I don't know why you would ever go into your office with a city like this at your disposal. Hey! Excuse me, I didn't know you needed the entire walk! Whoa. If you are patient in one moment of anger, you will escape a hundred days of sorrow. What? What is that, Gandhi? No. Though, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. This is beautiful. It's something. The best way to pay for a lovely moment is to enjoy it. You need to learn to enjoy taking part in other people's goals. All right, down we go. What? Well, there's nowhere to sit and talk up here. Let's go down to the benches. Why'd you have me walk all the way up here if you're gonna have me walk right back down? And I thought you were just gonna parrot famous quotes at me. Let's talk about why you're so willing to give up your now to anger. What does that even mean? Now is where your life is happening and you're so willing to live your life angry. You know, I'm sure you're trying to communicate something to me. Alex, if a small thing has the power to make you angry, does that not indicate something about your size? All right, call me small one more time. Average players want to be left alone. Good players want to be coached. Great players want to be told the truth. All right, that's it, no more. Finished with the quotes, right? And you know what, I think it should be Mr. Davidian to you. Oh, pardon me, I have to take this. Hello, David. Yeah, things are going pretty well. We'll see. All right, sweetheart, let's talk about what this arrangement is going to be. Setting reasonable expectations is a good place to start. Well, I expect for you to leave me to go about my business. You can expense whatever stair climbing adventure you want, but in the end, you will write a letter to HR telling them what an excellent student I've been. Alex, no. A lie is an act of self-abdication because one surrenders one's reality to the person to whom one lies, making that person one's master. What did I tell you about quotes? I need to speak to you in succinct ideas so you remember them when I'm not around to help you. I don't even, I don't even listen to you when you are around. Whatever is begun in anger ends in shame. 
or I quote this. You shouldn't even be here. All you're doing is regurgitating ideas that you don't even understand. That does not make you an experienced coach. All it does is make you a weak, ill-equipped child halfway around the world without daddy trying to play with big boys who's forgot her training wheels at home. I do not need you to tell me that I am angry. Where there is anger, there is always pain underneath. Does this make you feel better? Does having these little fortune cookie scraps actually make you feel good? You think it's gonna help you from big, bad, scary executive who has twice your IQ and makes five times the amount of money you make and can get you fired on a whim? I shall allow no man to belittle my soul by making me hate him. Say what you think! All right! You are a self-centered, arrogant, lonely man. You are so terrified that you're not actually as good as they say you are that you push away everyone who cares about you. And if you stopped screaming for five seconds, you would finally realize that I'm just trying to help you. Look everyone, she's capable of original thought. It's surprisingly difficult to track down the only female American executive coach in Yerevan. Hello, Alex. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you. So listen, what I wanted to say, what I want to say is, <laughs> the best coaches in life really care about people. They have a sincere interest in people. Um, coaching is unlocking a person's potential to maximize their own performance. It's helping them learn rather than, rather than teaching them. Be because all coaching is, is, is taking a player to where they can't take themselves. Coaching is a profession of love. And you can't coach unless you unless you really love somebody. What I want to say is that I, I hope that you'll take me on again and and keep throwing this keep throwing this quote stuff at me. All right. Okay. Hey, maybe someday you can quote me. All right, sweetheart. Let's talk about what this arrangement is going to be.